हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन आवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स व्हिच आर इन्फ्लुएंसिंग प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड व्हाइल डिस्कसिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ऑफ द फैक्टर्स व्हिच आर इन्फ्लुएंसिंग प्रोडक्टिविटी वी कम टू नो दीज फैक्टर्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इनटू टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स इंटरनल फैक्टर्स एंड एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स और कंट्रोलेबल फैक्टर्स एंड अनकंट्रोलेबल फैक्टर्स basically we have to focus on these particular factors because directly or indirectly they are going to affect our productivity and if i want to improve or make improvement in productivity basically we have to concentrate on these particular factors which will definitely going to influence or make certain cause to improvement or reduction in that particular productivity and therefore after having a knowledge of those particular factors now we are moving towards the different techniques which we can use for productivity improvement and that's why in this particular lecture basically we are going to focus on productivity improvement techniques friends through this particular slide you can immediately recognize that there are nearly about four to five different techniques through which it is possible for us to make improvement in productivity the first factor or the first technique is obviously the technology based second technique is regarding the material based third is employee based the fourth one is task based and the fifth one is product based friends we are going to discuss these techniques in detail as far as technology based is concerned we are trying to think in such a manner how this particular technology will be definitely going to improve productivity or how this particular technique will be definitely going to improve productivity friends as far as technology based technique is concerned due to advancement in technology it is possible for us to improvement or improvement in productivity due to advancement in technology it is possible for us to have more and more better machines more and more advanced technology which has been already implemented within that particular machine and due to these advanced machines it is possible for us to generate more and more or improve productivity to give an example for this is previously we were drawing or sketching those particular part drawing with the help of that particular drafter or that particular draftman but nowadays due to computer aided design or a cad it is possible for us to generate that particular design in a quick or in a short period of time now we can have a computer aided manufacturing and computer integrated manufacturing system due to this particular cad cam cims it is possible for us to generate more and more output within that particular short duration within that particular less and less time due to this it is possible for us to make improvement in that particular production at the same time we can make use of this particular production planning and control department the capacity requirement planning department that is crp or manufacturing resource planning which is nothing but the mrp or manufacturing resource planning which we can call as the mrp2 all these advanced technology helpful for us to make certain improvement within that particular productivity also nowadays we can make use of robotics or the laser technology modern maintenance techniques then the energy technology and also the flexible manufacturing system these advanced technology will definitely going to helpful for us to generate improvement in productivity now second which we are going to discuss that is energy based now as far as uh, sorry employee based as far as employee based technique is concerned basically the financial and non financial incentives at individual or group level those motivate that particular worker to generate more and more output and better and better output and thus it is possible for me to generate more productivity from that particular employee at the same time if we are providing promotion to this particular employee the employee will be definitely going to get motivated and he will be definitely going to try to improve the productivity also the job design job enlargement job job enrichment and job rotation will definitely going to helpful for us to improvement in productivity as far as employee based technique is concerned if we are going to involve the workers in worker related decision that also going to create a good relation between that particular worker and management and therefore they motivate yes 
this particular decision has taken into consideration or taken by my view taken into consideration. Likewise, this is a positive way by which it is possible for us to generate more and more output and thus productivity can be improved. Workers participation in decision making, then quality circles, small group activities, these are related with the employee based technique. Also, the personal development will definitely going to helpful for us to improvement in productivity. Now, the third technique which we can see within this particular slide is material based. Now, how material is going to helpful for us to improvement in productivity? Basically, the material planning and control that is MRP or purchasing logistics, material storage and retrieval, source selection and procurement of quality material, waste elimination and at the same time the material recycling and reuse definitely going to helpful for us to improvement in productivity. The next is process based or a task based. The method engineering and work simplification will definitely going to helpful for us to improvement in productivity. Job design, job evaluation and job safety will be helpful for improvement in productivity. This is regarding the process based or task based and human factor engineering when we are focusing on or human machine relationship that also going to helpful for us to improvement in productivity. And the last technique that is product based. Now we are going to think how product is going to helpful for us to improvement in productivity. Obviously, the value analysis and value engineering which is regarding that particular product, we are trying to improve value of that particular product. Thus, it is possible for me by enhancement or improvement in product, enhancement in value for that particular product, it is possible for me to generate more customers to attract toward that particular product and thus productivity can be improved. Then product diversification, standardization and simplification, then reliability engineering which we can use for that particular product and at the same time product mix and promotion will be definitely going to helpful for us to improvement in productivity by product based technique and these are few you can say the techniques which we can use as far as improvement in productivity is concerned. Now, based on this particular knowledge, I am having one question for you. List out different techniques which can be used to improve productivity. Just think over it.